Hey there guys, I hope all is going well. Today I have a tutorial video of how to create some pretty cool free 3D animations to put in your video, such as a plane flying over. The first thing you want to do is install the two pieces of software in the details column, ScreenFlow, and Google SketchUp. After you do that, open up Google SketchUp, and it should look something like this. Just hit start using SketchUp. Now extend the screen to as large as large as your screen is, just so that you have a larger stage to work with. In the dock, minimize it by selecting this little doohickey right here and dragging it down. After that, select um, the main guy with your mouse and hit delete. Come over here to view. Hit axis so that all you're left with uh, all you're left with is a large 3D area. Now one thing that I like about Google SketchUp that no other programs has is a 3D warehouse where artists can upload their um, upload uh, things that they make and then other people can download them directly into Google SketchUp. So let's say we want a plane. Alright, so we just search plane and we find one that we like, hit it, and then hit download model. Load this directly into your Google SketchUp model. Okay. After that, you just hit it with the mouse button, and it should just stay right there. You can press O to bring up the orbit tool, and you can orbit around your object. See if it looks alright. And after that, zoom out a, li a large amount so that it is uh, fairly small. Press the square option right there, and then just make a very, very large square around it. This is uh, going to be the sort of stage that it's going to rest in. And after that, make another square on the outside of that, just so it uh, fits around it. Then press P to bring up the push tool, and push um, the inside wall, inside square all the way down. And you should be left with something that looks like this. A large th uh, three-dimensional area with a small object in the middle. After that, come over here to Tools, and hit Paint Bucket. Now, if you're uh, familiar with Chroma King, you know that green, uh, green screens work very well. So after that, um, select this um, little dropper tool all the way into the green, and paint all the walls that you have in your project green. All right, and then paint the paint bucket again. Paint all the walls. All right, looks good. We can close out of the colors now, and then we can zoom back in too. Alright, so now we're zoomed back in. We can find a little plane or whatever we wanted to use. Select this tool, and then we can move it so that it is in the 3D model area towards the uh, very middle. So here's our model. Now, what we can do is we can use the orbit tool and all the other tools that we have to make it look like there is a camera going by or something. So click outside of that. Um, mainly using the um, orbit tool and the hand tool is what I like to use. So let's find our model. Alright, there it is. Press H to bring up the hand tool. Also zoom is very nice. You can um, have a slow zoom in and out. So let's say we want this plane to be um, coming sort of straight at us. What we can do is use the orbital and set up our screen as if it was a camera right in front of the plane. All right. I think we should lower this plane down a little bit more so that it's more and surrounded by green. All right. Let's find our plane. All right. There it is. We now. Get up nice and close to it. And oh, there we go. Okay, so there is our plane. So now, if we wanted to say, um, make it look like a zoom past us, we would then open up our screen recording software, ScreenFlow. I'm actually using it right, right now, so I won't be able to um, use it in the example, but just set up to record. You don't need any audio or uh, anything special like that. Just set that up to record. 
and then you can make the uh, move around the plane um, but always make sure the mouse is not near um, the object so we can make it like coming straight at us with a little bit of a zoom feature and we can go past the camera or let's say we want it to be kind of like going by in a sort of side shot we can um, zoom up pretty close to it press H to bring up the hand tool set it up to record and just drag it right by the screen and then you get the idea so after that come up here hit stop recording and then um, it will open up and you want to export that um, using um, the export feature and just um, export it to wherever you want call it whatever you want make sure it is uh, as high quality as it um, as it can be um, don't go to nine uh, one nine twenty by one oh eighty um, for some reason using that with Final Cut Express doesn't always work so I say go with the uh, one to um, eighty by seven twenty I believe it is or something like that it's the uh, step right below the uh, highest quality so after you're done with that go over to Final Cut Express and you can take the footage that you exported, drag it onto the second layer timeline, uh, delete out all the audio, and just find a place that you want. So let's say we want it from uh, right here. Press B to bring up the blade tool. Delete what we don't want, and then um, let's say we want it to end right about there. Press B again to bring up the blade tool. Delete what we don't want, and then just um, put that to the very, very beginning. Now press C to bring up the crop tool and just crop out all the areas that we don't need as uh, well as the mouse just to make sure that that's not going to be in the shot. All right, That looks pretty good I think. And after that we obviously need a background so come over here to Google Images and search whatever you want. Since mine is the plane I'm going to be um, I'll just Google Sky. Um, and also one thing that I found out, um, many of the uh, pictures on the internet obviously aren't going to be that high quality. Um, so one thing that you can do is come over here to um, any size and hit larger than and uh, select the size. I like the uh, 1600 by 1200 and um, that gives you a very nice large high quality picture. So let's do want this picture. All right, that's pretty good. Right click it and then add image to iPhoto library. Then I'll just import. We can view it. Looks pretty good. Now come back over here to Final Cut Express. So hang on a sec. I'm going to need to use spaces to bring over. No, I don't want to update now. <laughs> See, all right, I need to just drag this over here. Sorry about this. Then drag the image that you want onto the first video layer. Make sure those two clips um, are at the same length. So after that, double click the plane. Come over here to Effects, Video Filters, Key, and then Chroma Key. And this is just going to be so that you can key out all the green that was originally in the um, footage. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of green around the edges, so we use um, saturation as well as um, edge thinning, uh, as well as the uh, luma, just to get rid of all the green. All right, that looks pretty good for right now. Now, if we render this, we could um, view the airplane going by. So let's render this and let's look at it. All right, let's play it. All right, obviously right now it doesn't look too realistic. If you have a steady hand and if you do a little bit of practicing with it, it can make it look a lot, um, a lot better. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I'll be more than happy to respond to any questions. 
and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And thanks so much for watching.